First of all, what does natural everyday makeup mean to you? That is the question that I am posing to everyone today because we are going to be achieving this look and we're gonna get into it. Hey there, my friends. Natural everyday makeup can mean so many different things to so many different women. I like to have a very polished look about my natural makeup. This makeup might not be what you consider to be natural makeup. It might be more than you would like. It might be less than you would like. It really is a matter of perspective. My perspective is, is that my makeup is what I enjoy. And so even if a natural makeup is going to take me a half an hour to an hour, I still enjoy doing that. Some women feel like a natural makeup routine should only take you 10 minutes, but for me, what it is is, is lightening up your makeup, making your skin look as natural and beautiful as possible and working with what you have. So that's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to try and perfect our canvas and that's going to be our focus. And then all the rest of the makeup is going to be makeup that is lightened up. If you've ever seen any of my videos from before, I've lightened my makeup up tremendously and it seems to be working a little bit better for me as I'm aging. I turned 53 this year. So I hope that if you're something someone that really does want to look polished, but you want to look a little bit more natural, that you will enjoy this video. Make sure that you sound off in the comment section about what you think of this look, and we will get into it so you can see how I created it right now. With natural everyday makeup, we're still going to do all of our prep steps. That includes using a primer. This is the one from Wet n Wild that I showed a while ago. It's called the Impossible Primer. I really like this. It sinks into the skin really well. It hydrates. It's smooth and it doesn't do it with any silicone for so for summer for me That's huge because the silicone and when I'm having a hot flash or something like that Can really be slippery and it can kind of make my makeup slide all around no matter whether I'm doing a Natural face of makeup or a full face of makeup. I'm going to use my pixie by Petra. That is my corrector I use it underneath my eyes and on any spots all over my face my my dark spots, my red spots, all of that to help to kind of perfect my canvas before I go in with foundation. That way I don't need as much foundation and that can really contribute to you looking more natural throughout the day with your makeup. The next step that I'm going to do may not seem like something that you would do in a natural makeup routine, but I learned this. This is one of my very best videos that I've ever put out there. And I learned this from Wayne Goss. It is kind of gone viral on TikTok, Instagram. It's to put your powder on before your foundation. I use quite a bit, not a ton. I guess I load my brush up pretty good, but I always tap my brush off really well as well. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush that you can get at Target. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I go across my eyes and I'm going to go underneath those eyes as well. I'm not going to like, you know, buff this in really well. This is just a coating of powder and it's going to be able to really grip that foundation and keep that foundation on all day. But you're going to be surprised at how natural your foundation is. Now I will list that video. I will link that video so that you can make sure that you get a chance to go see it. It is quite remarkable what happens with this foundation routine. I'm going to go in with two foundations. And the reason is, is because one is super light, one is super dark. And so I'm kind of mixing them. This is the Sephora best skin ever. These these are two of my very favorite foundations that I've ever, ever had. They are so good. And everybody that has been on my channel, around my channel for very long knows that I love the number seven Lift and Luminate, but the number seven is too light for me. I have learned recently, and this is kind of important to me, I've learned recently that I need to darken up my makeup just a tiny bit because I was looking way too light, very pale, and it's that warmth that can really give you a lot of depth in your face, and it can really help with your aging too. Think about young people, they do have a certain amount of flush, and even a pretty tan on somebody can be something that is desired. Now we know that we need to wear our SPF, but we can go ahead and mimic that with bronzer and blush. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna just put this all over. I'm using one of my very favorite brushes from BK Beauty. This is, I believe their 101, it is their 106. <laughs> it is their found, little round foundation brush, which I love. 
of this foundation is going to go across my eyes i'm not using eyeshadow primer today because i want it not to look stark white i want this look to be very natural and you might think that because i'm using a foundation brush to put my foundation on that it's not going to look natural but i'm going to show you a little trick right after this that's going to help my foundation look more natural now if you've been with me for very long you know that i don't use concealers so i am just going to be using this up underneath my eyes so once you have that on check this out <laughs> this is also from sonia kashuk i got it from target this is a gargantuan beauty blender it's like half the size of my face it's huge i am going to take this i did uh put water in this wrung it out really well and then i actually put it in a towel and wrung it out a little bit more but what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to take this all over my makeup and this is going to lift any excess this is my one of my very favorite secrets to making sure that my foundation looks fantastic every day because Kiki foundation is just not good on an older woman. It's not good on anybody, but especially on an older woman that has lines and wrinkles and some texture. This is going to help push the foundation into the pores. You can use a beauty sponge to begin with if you want. You can use your fingers if you want to, whatever you want to. Just make sure that you turn it to a side that's fairly clean and then that you do do this because this will help your skin look absolutely flawless. And that is with natural makeup. It doesn't necessarily mean quick right run out the door makeup It means that we want to look like our skin is skin that we don't have a heavy coat of makeup on and for me That is the part of natural everyday makeup that I try to make the best is the skin part Then all the rest of it can just kind of go along for what you like for eyes today I'm going to try and keep it very neutral because we are doing that natural makeup up, but it doesn't have to necessarily be brown and I want to show you a good example of that So today I am going to start off with this color up here. That's going to look just a little bit more Kind of along the lines of a peach. So it's kind of cream color I'm, sorry. This is a smitten in Switzerland by BH cosmetics beautiful palettes by the way I think you guys have already heard me talk about them plenty and I love them. So this natural makeup is going to be soft. I'm going to buff a little bit of it right here, and, which is the transition color. All right, so I started off with that color. I'm going in with the same brush and I'm using this color right here. And we're gonna use a little bit of that and I'm gonna come down just a little bit more. So I want this transition to look really natural. To deepen it up, I'm gonna continue with this brush because I don't want everything to get out of hand. I'm gonna go into this khaki green right down here. What's gonna happen is if you use a more fluffy brush like that, what it will do is diffuse the color. When you're doing natural makeup, you want diffused colors. You don't want them to be super dark. So I'm using a very, very, very light touch and I'm just going into the crease and on this outer V right here and just a tiny bit above the crease to tie everything together. And then I'm gonna take that brush and I'm just gonna continue to buff until it looks really natural to me and really good to me. What you're gonna see is that's just barely a shadow barely barely a shadow on the eye and your focus should be on blending with this eye look you want to blend so much that that eye just looks like it's a watercolor you don't want there to be any harsh lines on it whatsoever now I'm taking smitten in switzerland once again and i'm going to use a paddle brush or a concealer brush lots of times they're called shader brushes uh, flat shader brushes just going into that cream color that is up in the corner there no shimmer in that at all and then i am going to go whoops shaky hands touched the eyeball or touched the eyelid up there didn't want that um, and i'm going to stay down here on the eyelid and i'm just going to bring that across again and then i'm going to grab that original brush and i'm going to diffuse even that line even a little bit more and this will make your eye pop when it's open so see that brighter color compared the two eyes how much more that does and that texture that you might normally have because this is such a soft eyeshadow 
and the look is so soft you do not need to worry about and i have a really bad itch on my nose i promise i'm not picking my nose okay let's go in and let's diffuse that one just a little bit more with that brush i'm going to quickly wipe off that paddle brush i'm going to go into that palette one more time i'm not going to take that green i'm going to take this brown right here on the tip of that paddle brush the very tip of it and i want to make sure i pat that off i'm going to mix that with the orange right here or the peach it's not orange the peach that i used on the eye and i'm going to tap those off because what i want to do is i want to give a very soft smudge underneath my eye i don't want there to be too much color there because again natural everyday makeup we just want this to look like we're just shadow and light a little bit and using that and keeping your um, color way out here and diffusing it with a brush that's kind of soft like this really does help it not to get away from you as a look it's still going to look very soft and very pretty this is a pencil from nyx it's their micro brow and i'm going to use ash brown i'm not going to get really precise with my eyebrows because natural eyebrows aren't like really super easy to find they don't go crazy they don't come far in they don't go far out whatever your natural shape is that's what you want to put on your eye today you can enhance it obviously look i have like half an eyebrow on this side i'm going to enhance that side but really what i want more than anything is for this eyebrow to look just like my normal shape whatever that is whatever you've shaped yours to be doesn't have to be anything different making sure at the very end that you brush through your eyebrows with a spoolie can really make them look more natural because um, that can get the whatever product you're using can get a little clumped in there and you want them to look like natural fibers or natural hair one of the things that I'm enjoying doing right now is using an eyebrow brush. You can use an eyeliner brush. It doesn't really matter. Um, BK Beauty has a fantastic one. This is a Morphe um, eyebrow with the spoolie on the other end and just a very angled um, brush right here. And I've been enjoying making the line or tight lining my eyes with a brown eyeliner. It makes a very soft line, but at the same time, it defines your eye enough that you're still going to have your eyes pop. I make sure that I line all the way in and then I stop right here about an eighth an inch of an inch away from the outer line right there because I find my eyes are so downturned that if I bring that liner all the way down, it's going to pull my eye look down. Just a little tip. You can try it if it works for you. Great. Last thing before I move on is I'm going to go in again with that color right there. Little tiny bit on the paddle brush and go into the inner corner to really brighten up that inner corner. That's where I get so much darkness. So if I put something in there, even this mat is going to help my eyes look so much better throughout the day and look so much brighter. All right, another thing that I do that makes my um, skin look really perfected, but at the same time, it doesn't make my skin look too crazy, is I am in love with this Uoma stick. Um, this is a contour stick. It's called Double Take, and it is, let's see, Sculpt and Strobe, duo stick white pearl so we are going to be using that this is the highlighter side i'm going to take my fan brush and i did get this one also very recently from um, sonia kashik and her brushes i like this a lot i had forgotten about this brush i did have it before and i think i gave it to my daughter we're going to put a little bit of highlighter underneath our blush because what that's going to do is give a natural glow to our skin without any sort of highlighter i bring it down the bridge of my nose but i don't bring it to the tip just my personal preference on that one. And then I'm gonna take the contour and I'm gonna use that contour as the um, warm me up part that I was talking about earlier. Huge fan brush that I've had forever that you have all asked about many times. I do link one that is very close to this one, not one that is exactly, but it's really, really close. So I'm picking up my product. You could deposit this all over if you wanted to with this wand or you know this stick if you wanted to. I choose to do it like this because I have a little bit more control over this than just putting down the actual product right on my face. So this helps me to build up instead of, you know, just drawing it on my skin. And I'm going to put this to where I have it up quite a bit on my cheeks because I want this to warm me up as well. For me, this is gonna be really good because it's gonna blend well with my blush and I won't have to do a bronzer and a contour separate. This is just gonna warm everything up at the same time and I'm gonna make sure that I go down here 
right along my jowls because I do have sagging jowls and I'm going to go down my throat. So this is a cream, bl cream blush from Fenty and this one is in Petal Popping. I love Petal Popping, not popping. I love this color. It's very natural and it's very pretty and her blushes are so beautiful in this cream formula for a mature woman. That's going to help me warm up. That blush is going to help me warm up. It's going to look natural because what I'm going for is like a suntanned look. That's the natural look that I'm going for. I want to look very warmed up. I want to look kind of youthful with that tan a little bit look on my face. I'm going in with Rose Quartz from Rimmel and I'm going to line my lips. Now my Milani Keep It Full Plumping Lip Gloss. This one is in Nude Shimmer and I'm not wearing any lipstick. It's just lip gloss and the lip liner today. I am going to curl my lashes, put two coats of mascara on, and then I will be right back to talk with you about this makeup look a little bit more. I feel like mascara just really can define your eyes and make your eyes pop no matter what look you have on. You might want to just go with one coat. Um, you also might want to go with a brown and not a black. That's completely up to you. You also might not want to do your little lashes out here on the bottom. I kind of stay out towards the outside and kind of define those a little bit. I like to, but you might want to stay without any, and you might not want to put eyeliner on the bottom of there if you want a natural look. That's all kind of just what you like, what you've experimented with, and what works good for you. I like a little bit of mascara on the bottom. There's the look. All right, I'm going to put some pretty earrings on today and kind of finish that look up that way. If you're wondering about my earrings, they are from a YouTuber who actually makes earrings. You can contact her over on her channel on Instagram, or you can go to one of her her videos her name is my life Wendy and you can put a message in her comments and she will go ahead and respond to you she's amazing okay so I took my hair down and just kind of am fluffing it up and I then after the zhuzhing everything is done so I hope that you did enjoy this video today and seeing what I consider natural everyday makeup on myself yes it was a full face of makeup that is not what I was particularly talking about just wanted to keep everything a little softer which I have been doing quite often on my channel now and you seem to be enjoying that so i've been kind of lightening everything up and i wanted to show you how i'm doing that nowadays so i hope that you did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here let me know if there is anything in excess here that you wouldn't do and let me know also if your routine includes anything more or anything less than this and i would really appreciate hearing all that from you in the comment section thanks so much for spending a bit of your day with me i love you all very much please take care of yourself and I'll catch you all hopefully in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.